Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Valentine. Good morning, Vanessa. I y'all, everyone can see I am getting things ready. Co-pastor don't know that I'm doing this, but I'm getting things ready. Why? Because of what today is. We're getting things ready, and um, we just want to just thank God for each one of you. We want to thank God. She's coming in with a, a look on her face, conference callers. She's bringing in coffee, but I have the wine set. She's bringing in coffee, but I have the wine set. We want to say it is good to see each and every last one of you on this morning. Happy Valentine's Day. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Valentine's Day. Bishop won't have his wine glass surprise, but I need this coffee on this morning. Happy Valentine's Day, love. My God. Good morning on this beautiful Monday morning. We just thank God for his grace and his mercy and the ability to wake up this morning and being able to sit at the breakfast table and receive what the Lord has for us on this morning. Mm -hmm. Surprise happened on Valentine's uh, Day, Bishop. Uh, today, today, um, I wanted to and I didn't get a chance to because like we said, Good morning, Good morning, Minister Lane. I wanted, and nothing is pre-planned. Uh, I woke up with this uh, this morning. I woke up with this on my heart this morning, and I wanted to have everything ready for you guys uh, because of what today is, because it's Valentine's Day. Uh, Cole Bassett, I don't know anything about no, this. No, because I had a black shirt on us when I was fixing the coffee, I said, why do you have that red jacket? I said, I'm not dressed like you. He said, well, it's Valentine's Day today. And I had to run and go find a red shirt, guys. You didn't have to go run. The men just need to be on the- Well, that, you on your A game this morning. Listen, listen, it's <laughs> Valentine's Day and we are going to deviate from um, what uh, we had been doing. We had been in the gospel of Second Kings uh, not the gospel, but we've been in the book of Second Kings, the fourth chapter, and we're going to deviate uh, from that because we want to be reverent with what's going on in the world. We don't want to be that station or uh, all those people that we keep talking about uh, the same thing when they got devastation going on, when they got holidays right. going on. Be my God, my God. So this day is what we call Valentine's Day. Uh, is the day where we set out uh, and we have uh, love going. You see, I had a few things. Let me let me just give it to you. I had a few things, Co Pastor. I'm on the wrong side, but I had my love up there. I needed my love, but it's okay. I'm going to just let it go on uh, today. I had my love. Um, it's over there, Co Pastor. It's it's over there. I left it over there. I set all this up. I I set all this up inside of the room. On this morning, I set this up inside on the room on this morning. Uh, I uh, wanted to I make sure it. that we would have everything <clears throat> together for Valentine's Day. And I want to stand on the word. Um, and, and the word is what, what everybody know. Everybody know this word. Uh, it, it's come from John, uh, the third chapter and verse 16, the third chapter and verse 16. And it talks about, it says, for God so loved the world mm. that he gave his only begotten son, yes. that whosoever believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Yes. Uh, listen, I'm going to have co-pastor to move around uh, in just a little bit. She's going to have to move. She's going to have to push up a little bit. She's saying no now, but uh, y'all, I mean, this is, this is not script. I just want to let y'all know uh, what God did. God did something that was so, um, I, how can I put it? Um, it was so unorthodox. It was something out of out of his own character. Mm -hmm. uh, what he did, he when he uh, planned the world, when he planned this world, let me put it that way. Mm -hmm. When he planned this world, he planned this world with uh, maybe there could be a mistake. Uh, because he was making man, uh, and when he was making man, he was giving man the ability uh, mm -hmm. to do what he wanted to do. Mm -hmm. he, he was not taking man's free will away from man, right. and he was giving man the ability to do whatever he wanted to do. So what God did in advance, he, cre he, he, he made sure that even if man would sin, man would have a way out. 
Mm. And the Bible talks about that uh, uh, Jesus died before the foundations of the world. Mm. When, when God gave his son, he gave his son to us before the foundation of the world. Mm -hmm. And he knew each one of us while we were in our mother's womb. And he knew us what we were capable of doing <laughs> on the outside of the womb. So he knew that we were capable of sinning. He knew we were capable of making mistakes. He knew we were capable of backsliding. So what he did, he created us an advocate and he allowed Jesus Christ to die before the foundations of the world so that when we would sin, when we would sin, mm -hmm. that we would have that advocate, that we would have a chance to get back to him. Right. And co-pastor, uh, you see, uh, somebody might be saying, then Bishop, why are you saying all that? And it's Valentine's Day. Right. Because God loved us so mm -hmm. much. He did this because he loved us so much. Valentine's Day, it's all about love. Yeah. It's all about giving up yourself. It's all about doing something that you wouldn't normally do. Right. And listen, it's not about a man giving to a woman. It's not about a woman giving to a man. It's showing love. Even to, to your own self. To your own self. My God. You know, I, I think Jesus exemplified that whenever he gave of himself to us and his father, our father, that gave his son of his self to us <clears throat> that we might live where mm. we might have life and have it more abundantly they am exemplified love in such a way that no man could ever exemplify that they had others in the past and in the bible days that tried to exemplify that love but could not My God. bishop could not uh, mount up to the love that god and jesus has for us his children nobody will go to those extremes like they went for their loved ones. I don't care, mama, daddies, we say we love, but there's no greater love than the love of my Jesus God, Christ. My God. And listen, in the book of of, of uh what is it, Song of Solomon, he declares and uh, unto us, he gives us all kind of love, love stories. stories. Gives us all kind of love stories on how God, He wants to love us. My God. How he wants to love us. And throughout that, inside of the book of Song of Solomon, he tells us what he wants to do for us, how he want to bless us. He tells us how he want to give us roses in the morning. He want to lay us down on his bed. He want to pour oil on us. Mm. You're talking about a massage. That was a bad man. That, Jesus and God. Oh my God. That's a bad man. All man. bad man. Good man one. Yes, oh my indeed. God. Man, listen, when you when you man, some of you women. And some of you men, you love a full body massage, man. And and I know when you read the book of Songs of Solomon, you read in chapter three, he says, I'll pour oil upon your body. Mm. And he says he will have you that you are so relaxed mm. and let the, the sun beat down upon your brow. Mm. Oh, God. And then it says that once he would finish and everything, you would he would go away and then you would be panning, waiting for his return. Right. Mm. That's that's what love is all mm. about, and uh, God uh, 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 made that sure when He allowed Jesus to die that's for right. our sins. Yeah, right. And what I want to let you know: a whole lot of people get so bent out of shape on this day. We get bent out of shape because we don't have that significant mm. other. Mm. We don't have mm. that significant other. We don't have that person uh, to come and and just do these little things for us. Listen, you got to love, love on yourself, yourself so much. Love yourself. That's right. You got to love yourself so much. You got to fall in love with yourself because how can, watch this now, how can you fall in love with somebody else if you not first in love with God, oh God. and then be in love with mm. yourself? When you love God and you love yourself, on, then man, shout. listen, whether you have somebody next to you, whether you have somebody sleeping with you, whether somebody is around you or not, it's, it's going to be that you are satisfied right. because you have the love of God. Right. And he's going to make sure that, that you feel love. Right. He, right. God will make sure that you feel love. Mm. So, and, and and I want to I want to share this with all of us uh, getting into that because so oftentimes 
so oftentimes yes. uh, we are in places and situations uh, that we don't understand uh, how God uh, want us to be, right. what God want us to be, right. what he want mm. us to do, how he want us to mm. act. Um, and we get so bent out of shape at this right. time of the, mm. the year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But what God desire, his desire is for us to be so much in love with ourselves right. that we love up on ourselves. Right. Wait, hold on. Let me, let me get that right. Let me get that to you. That, that you be so much in love with yourself that you love up on yourself. But what's wrong with buying your buying buying your own gift? What's 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 wrong with mm. making your 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 man cook your own steak? My God, prepare your own meal. It's <laughs> nothing wrong. You know, uh, uh, something about me. I can curl up in the corner with a good book. I can mm. curl up in. How about you, Kobe? Oh, I sure can. Man, I can curl up in the corner with a good book. Man, put that rose out in that joy, light that candle, curl up in with that good book, and just you know, enjoy God, enjoy other people. It don't have to be a man. It don't have to be a woman. It don't mm. have to be that significant other. Right. Just go and be, be with somebody else who maybe mama, maybe daddy, maybe that auntie, maybe that uncle. Go and hang out with somebody. Be with somebody on that day for you not to be feeling as if that you are left behind or left out. Right. Sharing that love doesn't have to yeah. be with a specific person. Yeah. It's just sharing love. My God. And when you share that love... Mm. When you share that love, then that love goes abroad. That's what Jesus did. He shared that love and it went abroad. And when he died for us, mm. that even showed us that the scripture says, <clears throat> who would lay down his life? My God, my God. Oh my God, for the one that they love. And, yeah. and he did that. He loved us so much that he laid down his mm. life and he gave of himself. And my when God. we gather with those around us. We mm. gather those that don't have somebody to love My upon God. them. Those that, some of the elderly people don't have nobody to go and sit and talk with them. That's that's showing love, Bishop. Yes. And that's all Valentine's. It wasn't even supposed to be. Come we on. made it into come heart on, come center. On. Come all on. This, this, this stuff. But all Valentine's was is just showing mm. love. Let's just show love. Show love, show love, show love. Everywhere we go today, let's show somebody mm. love. Mm -hmm. And look, let me let me just give you this. He, he, he talks about in the book of Songs of Solomon, mm. the first chapter, he talks about uh, uh, let him kiss me mm. with the kisses of his mouth. My God. For your love is better than wine. Because of the fragrance of your good ointment, uh -huh. your name is on your your name. Watch this. Your name is ointment poured forth. Mm. Therefore, uh, the virgins love you, man. He say, draw me away. Oh God, he says, draw me away, and we will run after you. And he talks about how much he loves the believer. God loves you so much. He loves you so much that that when he leaves you, you're going to still be yawning for him. Once you fall in love with him, once you have that relationship uh, with him and he shows us how to rightly love. Mm, mm. He shows us how to rightly love. Go ahead. Go back you know, there. Bishop, <clears throat> Valentine's Day is just a day to to show the, and celebrate the meaning of love. We celebrate so much anger and hatred mm -hmm. and bitterness and uh, we argue and we come into confusion and, and it, it blows up, you know, uh, between people of God and just people in general. And today is we have so much going on in this world yeah, that yeah. we live in where we're killing each other, going against each other, fighting against each other, hurting each other, scandalizing each other, talking about each other. And on today, on today of any other day, let's just show some love. Mm, yes, let's yes. celebrate love. Let's celebrate. When you go into work today, just happy Valentine's Day. And you know, you are shocked a lot of people walking there happy valentine's day love every last one of you if you would just let that come out of your mouth yeah. you are shock yeah. a lot of people because mm. a lot of people don't bishop and i have a trait of saying when we're on the phone and we're getting off the phone um happy valentine's and uh we'll say okay uh goodbye love all right you. love you and someone be like uh uh oh, oh okay 
because we throw them off guard because they're not used to that. I have some of my neighbors, I said that one day because I'm so used to saying it, you know, and I really mean it from the heart. Okay, talk to you guys later. Love you. Wait, uh, was it just the man? No, it's the no. I was just wondering if you just told a <laughs> man was, you love him or was his wife with him. Cool, but I was just wondering. I, you know, I was just we're wondering. celebrating love. Okay, I was just, I was just wondering. <laughs> I was just, you know, she said she was talking to the. I didn't know if she said neighbors or neighbor. Okay. you know, I was okay. Go ahead, Kobe. Anyways, I'm sorry. I kind of, I think I threw her, I threw her for a loop when I said it. Like, oh, okay, you know, but. That's just something that we practice, that yeah. we do at all times. We will always, before we get off the phone, we will say, love you, you know. And like I said, we'll throw some people off. But that's something that we disciplined ourselves of doing. Because this is what we really mean from our heart. You know, we really love. And that's what God wants us to show. Above all other things that we do and say. Because through life, we say some mean, cruel things. You know, a lot of us don't even ask a person to forgive us for some of the things we've said <coughs> and done, My you God. know, and on this morning, I just want to take this time to say, if I've said any ugly thing, if I've hurt anybody, please forgive me and that I love you from the mm. bottom of my heart. Listen, listen, I want to, I want to give you something else. When you talking about the family, when you showing love, mm. when you just, just loving up on one another, First, we said you have to love yourself. You have to love yourself because how can you love somebody else and you don't even love yourself and respect yourself? Once you love yourself and respect yourself, look what he says. He says, behold, this, we still in the book of Songs of Solomon. We started out in the book uh, where it talks about for God so loved the world, yes. John the third yes. chapter yes, yes, and yes. verse 16. For God so loved the world. The reason why he loved the world, he did all of these mm. things. And now we are in... Um, Proverbs, uh, Songs of Solomon, the first chapter, and we are at verse number 16. He says, behold, mm -hmm. you are handsome, yes. my beloved. Yes, pleasant. Yes. Also, our bed is green. The beams of our houses are mm -hmm. cedar. My God. And our rafters are fur. Oh, God, did you get that? Okay, mm -hmm. let me say it again. He says, behold, you are handsome, my beloved. Mm -hmm. Yes, pleasant. Mm -hmm. Also, our bed is green. Oh the beams of our houses are cedar yes. and the rafters fur. Yes. Okay, now what he's talking about, he's talking to the, the believer. He's talking to the one that he loved. And he says that you are handsome, meaning mm -hmm. you got it together. You are strong and mighty. You are a wonderful. No matter what they told you, God is telling you what you are. Right. You are a handsome person my right, beloved right. and that handsome is not going just towards men it's going towards the woman or the man he says you are all of that and like like we used to say back in the day you are all of that and a bag of chips okay mm -hmm. you are handsome my beloved he says and and then you have to understand when he talks to uh his beloved he says my beloved he mm -hmm. says he, it's personal it's personal it, it's, it's you the one that i really love he says yes pleasant everything about you is pleasant watch this yes pleasant yes comma pleasant exclamation point mm. what he's saying is that you're good you're mm. bad yeah. i've been with you since the beginning he's talking about that he knows you since you was born and he knows you now My after God. everything that you have done to him mm. oh lord you are still pleasant when he look at you did, did you understand that because so many of us we get into situations where we get hurt so many That's times right from that other person whether it be a mother a father a brother a sister a husband a wife whether it be it, your friend your neighbor you get hurt your co-worker and now they're not pleasant to look at mm. and god is saying because i love you you are still pleasant to look at after all that you have placed put me through after all that we have been through you're still pleasant to look at and then he goes on to say our bed is green Meaning everywhere we are going to lay our head, 
is green. I can see it is going to flourish. We are not going to be at a place of want because the love that we have for one another, the love that we have for each other, it's going to flourish. Mm. And then he says, he goes on to says, not only the bed is also green, he says, but the houses, are me- the houses, the beam on the houses is cedar, My meaning God. what keeps the house together mm. is cedar wood. It's mm. not just uh, that press wood. Mm. It's not that OSB Come wood. On, yes, it's, it's not that pine wood. It's not even oak. It's the cedar wood. My Why? God. Because the cedar wood lasts from everlasting to My everlasting. God. Meaning our love is going to last from everlasting to everlasting. Uh, someone, someone, someone asked me the other day. They said to me, they said, uh, "How? Let me see. How did they put it? They asked me. They said, so, so you think I should still love her? You think mm-hmm. I should still love her, uh, even though I'm married to uh, someone else? You think I should still love her? Mm-hmm. And I said, I told them like this. I said, oh, you're going to love them. You're always mm-hmm. going to love them because that's the mother of your children. I said, you're going to love them because that's who you've been with for quite some time. I believe it was like 10 to 13 years, somewhere around in there. I told them, I said, yes, you're going to love them. I said, but it's a different kind of love. And because they were saying how uh, the person they was with now didn't want them to do for the other person because they were no longer with them. No, that's a different kind of love. That's a different kind of love. I still love you because we have spent time together. We know each other. We like the cedar. We like the cedar wood that we're going to stay and our love going to remain. And then he says, the raptor is like fur. Oh my goodness. Not that, that, that. Not that imitation stuff. <laughs> Not like even leather that's going to wear out, but it's like fur that stays. It's, it's like the stuff that's on the animal is going to stay forever. Mm. It's, it's longevity. That's why it costs so much. You are worth so much in God's eyes. And when you get with somebody, you make sure that the love God have for you mm. is the same kind of love they have for you Come or on. they can't have you. Come on. Oh, co pastor, that's that. Listen, yeah, and and you know, a whole lot of times people get with other people and they really don't know how to love. They don't know how to love. They 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 want to love them from a distance, or they don't want to love them wholeheartedly. If you're going to love me, you gotta love me from the bottom of your heart. You gotta love me when I'm bad. Love me when I'm good. Love me when I'm up. Love me when I'm down. Don't just love me when I got it going on. But you gotta love me when I'm in the trenches. Oh man, you gotta love me unconditional. You gotta love me when I'm in the trenches. And co pastor, let me just say this. This kind of love that they're talking about in the text, mm. uh, we don't have that too much because a lot of times people, when something happens, oh, when the, when that person is not giving them enough, the affections mm-hmm. that they want, when that oh, person bishop. is not uh, uh, doing those things that they uh, desire for them to do, and they see somebody else who can do those things for them, they run to that person. On, and listen to me, listen to me, hear me out. Um, we forget about our vow. We forget about our vows. I know things happen and I know people get a divorce. I'm not talking about divorce. I'm not talking about uh, 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 separation. I'm not talking about none of that. I'm talking about your, your, your love has to remember the kind of love God have. God loves remember. What, okay, what are you meaning, Bishop? When Jesus died on the cross, he poured his blood out on each one of us so that the blood would cover a multitude of sin. So the love of God now looks at the blood of Jesus. And now when every time when God see the blood of Jesus on us, on. Uh, he don't hold us for the sin that we have committed on, because we are covered with the blood of Jesus. And you have to remember your vow. Your vow has to cover a whole lot of those yeah. things that the enemy trying to make you remember on, and Bishop. walk away from. On, we don't understand that is for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, uh, in season and out of season. We don't understand those vows. So what we do, we give up. Mm. And then when somebody give up on us, we have a tendency to give up on ourselves. But we cannot give up on ourselves. 
Go back to We can't give up on ourselves. And I just I just want to go somewhere else. Can I go somewhere else? Help yourself. Okay, hear me out. When 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 I'm 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 changing this gear, I'm turning the corner because my time is almost up. When it's when it's Valentine's Day, a day like today, you don't have to do nothing uh that costs a whole lot of money. Mm. Whether you're doing it for yourself, whether you're doing it for your significant other, man, look, it's Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. It's 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 a day where I show you, hey, look, we don't have much money. Right. We don't, man. We not. We don't. We right. don't, we can't. We can't fly over to Barbados, or or we Paris. can't. You, you know, we can't fly over yeah. to Paris and, and Paris and just go and just chill. Don't get me wrong. I would love to do that for you. I would love to go pick up you, pick you up, fly you over to Paris, and then we just go chill for the afternoon. Chill. And man, then come right back, man. Just and just fly <laughs> right back. I would, man. You know. Man, you know how would, how much I would love to do that? Mm. I would love to do that. Now watch this. If you can't do all that, mm -hmm. sometimes it's memorable. That's right. Just to do something. That's right. You know, um, um, uh, I was talking to somebody uh, again on the other day, Kovasa, and and they told me they said uh, uh, it, it was a twofold thing. Uh, they said for Christmas. Mm -hmm. They said for Christmas uh, that. Uh, she didn't realize that he didn't put a lot of thought in the gift. Mm -hmm. And he was like, uh, I didn't put a lot of thought in the gift because you have so much already. You have so much already. So I didn't know what to give you. Mm -hmm. And, and you know, and, you know, you get to that place where you don't know what to get that person because right. they right. got they it all. They have it. And, and you don't want to, you don't want to just give them something they already have, right. or you don't want to just, you know, you love them, you appreciate them, but what can I give you? What I want to give you is, is, is the, to go fly to Paris. Mm -hmm. That's what I want to do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now that would be something you would probably enjoy because yeah. you don't have that. Yeah. You don't get that's, that. That's what I would want you to do too. If I was, I ain't person. talking to you. Cole I Bassett. said, if I I'm was that person. I'm talking to you. I'm talking over here. You know who I'm if talking I to. Was that I ain't talking to, I'm talking to, I'm talking to you. Okay, listen. Uh, uh, that's what I would want to do. But because you have so much, and the person was like, the person was like, I. Uh, they got mad at me, or they didn't get mad. They didn't show that they was mad, but they they felt some kind of way mm -hmm. because they didn't put enough emphasis in it because the person had so much. Right. Um. And and I. I you know, I don't know what they bought. They just bought something. Oh, they just okay. got something, uh, um, and they they didn't put much emphasis in it. Mm. And 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 so the person say, "You just got this," but you know, listen to me. That's where it comes in at. Love don't have to be so expensive. Right, right. It don't right. have to be it's so. The thought that you've done something right. for me. Because a lot of times people will buy me things. I can speak for myself. And I'll say, they said, well, do you like it? I said, honey, I loved it. Because it doesn't matter. It's because you thought mm. about doing something for me. Well, I, I mean, it. if it's great, small, if it was a word, if it was a card, you thought about me. And that within itself, to me, is at worst a great value when somebody I think about. Oh my. And, and you see, and so that's what I'm getting at. You don't have to spend so much money. Right. Just put some thought into it. Right. You, you, you just put some mm -hmm. thought into it. Mm -hmm. Just put some thought into it. And, and, and the thing is, uh, I was thinking about this morning, and, and, and sometimes, and, and listen, women and men, sometimes if you miss out on something, if you learn something today, and it's Valentine's Day today. Day. This sounds like a setup because it sounds like, setup, it sound like if you're trying to say, uh, I didn't get you anything big for Valentine's, but it's a thought that counts. And you had me to say it without even know I was said. saying it. And I stepped right on into it, but I'm like, Listen, so <laughs> even if you watch this, yes, listen, uh, even if you thought about it on Valentine's Day and you seen that, oh, that's the truth. And you can't do what you wanted to do. Tomorrow is still another day. Uh, are, are you are you with me? No, no. Yes, Bishop. No, I'm I'm serious. No, listen, tomorrow is another day. So if he go to you and do it tomorrow, if he do it next week receive it because he put some thought oh, into I it. Oh, I will always receive. I will always receive. Oh, yeah, you're going to receive, Copas. 
I'm not turning down anything. <laughs> I don't care what it is. Okay. I want, I, I, I want to take another turn. I want to take another turn. Um, don't let it be, those of you who have that significant other, don't let it be one-sided. Don't let it be one-sided. Let the man, usually right. you're looking for the man to do something. I said it in, in church to our members on yesterday. Um, women, you do something. Right. Do something for your man. Right. Do something for your man. Right. Go out of your way. Just do something. I don't care what it is. Do something for your man. Let him know that, hey, and listen, let's go back. It don't have to be a lot of money. That's right. It don't have to be a lot of money. My time, my time is is running. Oh, uh, Pastor, can you slide up? Can you slide up just a little bit, Pastor? Can you slide up? I need to get around. You know, it don't have to be a lot of money. This one, I'm going to take your chair. So we're going to find out what Bishop is about to do. I have no clue. I heard a bunch of uh, thumping in this room this morning. I'm like, oh God, he must be upset because they left things um, out of place in the prayer room because I had my grandchildren here yesterday evening. And so I walked in and when I, well, I came, when I came out, when I was fixing the coffee, he came out with that red jacket and I'm like, what is Bishop doing? And he said, I said, why do you have that red jacket? I'm not dressed. I just had a black shirt on. He said, well, it's Valentine's Day. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to go try to run and find me a red shirt. And I did. And I found this one and I threw it on. And when I came down, when I walked in, I seen this table like, oh Lord, what is he doing? And to my surprise, he was talking about the love that we were supposed to exemplify on today. And he told us on today, it's not about just um, couples, but it's just about exemplifying, exemplifying, exemplifying love, uh, even to ourselves, because we have to show love to ourselves. We have to love ourselves more than anybody else love us. We have to love ourselves. And when we learn to love ourselves, we will find that we will be totally satisfied because if nobody else love us, Jesus love us. If nobody else have our back, he has our back. So yes, it's easy for those that do have a significant other that's with them, but those that don't have it, uh, you can still show yourself love. You can still take yourself out to breakfast or dinner or, 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 or uh, supper on tonight and you can enjoy being you. You can stay at home and, and get you some food and go home and sit down in the front of the television and just show your, get your glass of wine and show yourself some love on today because this is what Valentine's is all about, celebrating love. We celebrate, as I said earlier, so many other things we celebrate. We celebrate anger and, and, and frustration and bitterness and at each other. But on today, it was a day that was set aside to just exemplify, to show some love, to say, hey, I love you. And that's what it's about. Even if you have to walk into work this morning and say, hey, guys, happy Valentine's Day. Love every last one of you here on today. That will show and you will be exemplifying the love that Jesus exemplified when he seen those that was broken, those that needed healing, those that just needed that unconditional love. And he sat with them and he talked with them and he shared with them. That was showing that love. Some people that we overlook, it might be a, 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 a man, a, a woman that's sitting outside of the store and you look like they had been up all night. If you can give them that dollar to them or that two dollars or that five dollars or whatever you have and say look happy valentine day i love you and jesus love you that is showing the love of what valentine's is really all about we have turned it into to hearts and and roses and and the love that we think it is and it goes far greater than the love that we think it is because Valentine's is just showing the love of Jesus. And when you can do that, when you can exemplify that love, when you can go over and beyond the call of duty, just to say, Hey, I want to show you that I love you. That's what Valentine's is all about. So on today, we plead with you that you will get yourself together. And before you walk into work or, 
or wherever you're going on today, put that smile on your face and be ready to show some love to somebody. I know it's still COVID, but be ready to show somebody. I don't care if you have to go out and get a bag of candy and in that, that $2 bag of candy and, and take candy out as you walk in and just give candy to each person that you're seeing and saying, I love you, Bishop, are you ready to come back and say that I love you and exemplify that love? I don't know what Bishop is doing, guys, but I still heard some noise. So we're going to see, but I'm sure he already set up, made me tell myself that it's not about how big the gift is, that I'm supposed to still love it. And I will, no matter what it is, I will appreciate um, the love that is shown. Oh, on Pastor, I never world. said you was getting a gift. Okay, Bishop, but I better have a gift today at one point or another. I don't care what it is, but you better show that love. But a calendar, Bishop. <laughs> Come on, Bishop. <laughs> Come on, Bishop. Got my Stella. Bishop, we just thank God for Bishop. Isn't he so sweet? Isn't Bishop so sweet? Bishop. <laughs> Bishop must have woke up with this on his mind, guys. Because <laughs> Bishop, isn't Bishop sweet? That is so thoughtful, Bishop. Mm. I love you too, Bishop. Bishop is just full of surprises this morning, isn't he? See, as Bishop said, it doesn't take much. Doesn't take much at all. Just gathered a couple of things and he put it together. And this was just a spontaneous move this morning. Um, so we thank God for Bishop. He is exemplifying that love. So you guys can see that it doesn't take much, even if you have to do this for yourself. Light a candle, get you a good book, grab you a, a, a bottle of wine, a glass of wine, um, and just sit down and spend some me time and love upon yourself. Love, because some of our, our husbands are working, they're driving trucks, they're offshore, and they may send something, but... The co -pastor. Thank you, Bishop. I know how you love plants. Okay, can you sit over there? There's one room right here, I know how you love plants. Listen, I'm creating a... I'm creating something, guys. I'm creating, I'm creating guys. For sure, I'm creating guys. Listen, now we go back. Now, I know Co Pastor loves plants. She loves them. You're Co Pastor. Who are you playing, Co Pastor? Who are you playing? Thank you, sir. Okay, she loves plants. Okay, now. This plant didn't cost too much, mm -hmm. okay? This plant didn't cost too much. Mm -hmm. I went pull it out of the yard. It didn't cost, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the plant didn't cost much. Stella, Stella didn't cost much. The candle, it didn't cost much. But it's the setting. Yeah. Tonight. You had hearts going up, Bishop. Tonight. The lights off tonight. Again. You get the plant. Tonight. You don't have to. What I'm saying, you don't have to spend a lot of money. You get the plant. You pull the plant in. Once you buy her the plant, that little something that, that don't cost a whole lot of money. Then you get your wine. And then maybe you cook a meal. If you don't know how to cook, just get some takeout. Get some takeout, put it on the table, and y'all sit down and just enjoy one another. Just enjoy one another. Yes. Listen, women, you can do it for the men. You don't have to go. <laughs> and I know she likes roses. Listen, a uh, co-pastor is not the roses kind of person. She's a plant person. Roses right now today uh, might be so high for you. And I know somebody else is saying, well, if I'm worth it here, it's spending on it. Maybe he don't have it. Maybe she don't have it. Right. But whatever they That's have, right. whatever they do. you can buy the bundle of flowers right. with the different kind of flowers in it for $7. Yeah. So I like $7. flowers. They don't have to be roses, whatever it is. And some of them you can find them, the, the bunch for $5.97. All, all in the pack. Mm -hmm. You buy that, 
you put it. I have even the jar, the red jar. I have a red jar. You can put them in, find a jar around the house, put them in that. But she likes plants. So you, you I did the, I did this plant. Pour some wine. Drink some wine together. Oh, Bishop, but oh no, uh-uh, wine. Man, listen. You can drink wine with your significant other. You can drink it by yourself. And you tell them Bishop B.K. Stevens approved the message. Okay? <laughs> you let them know that God said it was okay. And that's Bible. Whatever, whatever going on, you do that for tonight. Yes. You do that for the night. You get together where y'all can come together on one accord. It's not about going to a, a restaurant where you have to dine. Yes. And, and you see, if I bring Cobasta to a restaurant tonight, mm -hmm. it's going to be like any other night. Mm -hmm. Because we always eat out. Mm -hmm. So it's just like any other day. Find something significant that's meaningful. That's meaningful. Right. Find something that's meaningful. Right. Find something that's significant. <clears throat> and you know me. I'm, I always have something up my sleeve. I just threw this together on this morning. I told him that, just, Bishop. I said, this is just a bishop. Woke up, must have woke up with this. This is hot. On, you know, don't tell everybody. I'll tell y'all because y'all my family. I already had the wine. I already <laughs> had the wine. <laughs> the wine was already there. Stella stays in the house. Okay. We we already had the candle. The plant was already in the house. Mm. Oh, man. Listen, you bring it. It's mm. not about what you have. Find it's that love. you and your significant other getting That's together. That's right. Doing something. One with another. Mm. Watch this. Some of you, some of you go to work at night. Mm. Do something for breakfast. That's right. Do something for lunch. That's right. I, it don't matter. Mm. Take that time and do something together. Mm. Uh oh, but mm. mine is overseas. Listen, we have Skype, we have Zoom, we have FaceTime, mm. we have a uh, 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 messenger man get on that social media and you go ahead on and work it you tell him look get you a glass of wine where you at i'm gonna get me one at where i'm at and we gonna drink together you put some food where you at let him put some food where he at and y'all put that that mm -hmm. foam or that mm -hmm. ipad together and y'all just set an ambience right between the both of you right. shut them lights off let us let it let it happen mm -hmm. let god Do his perfect work in you. Mm. You was made to love and you were made to be loved. That's right. For God so loved the world, he gave. He gave. He gave the ultimate gift. Yes. Whatever you give, you're never mama to him. And whatever you do is more than enough. Mm. Look, we want to tell you <clears throat> today, happy Valentine's Day. We want to tell you that we love you and we appreciate you. We're going to pray that God would just bless uh, and move on you and yours. God wants to do something so significant today in your life, but you got to fall in love with him and you have to love up yes. on yourself. Yes. Don't feel down upon yourself because you're not with that significant other. Yes. Man, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Yeah. They shall mount up with wings mm. as eagles. We shall run and not be weary. Today, God want to love you, mm -hmm. and he wants you to love yourself. Mm -hmm. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, mm -hmm. God, for this day that we celebrate love. Yes, we celebrate you because you, man, you're the image of love. Mm -hmm. You created love. Yes, God. You showed us what love is supposed mm -hmm. to be. Yes. And God, we thank you for loving thank us in God. spite of us. Yes, we thank you, oh God, for giving us everything that we need to be who we are supposed yes. to be. Father, we give you glory. We give you honor. We ask you to bless that person, God, who have that bow down head. Bless that person who's going through Valentine's Day for the first time by yes. themselves. Yes, and they can't handle it. Mm. Touch them, God. Lift up that bow down mm. head. And that other person, God, who's been with their Valentine for so long and just don't do anything. Stir mm. up the gift that's on the inside of them. Mm. And Father, let us love up on those, God, who are sick and 
only those in the hospitals, nursing homes, all of those, God, we ask in you that you would stir up those gifts that's on the inside. Let somebody go and show love to them. Oh, God, prick someone's heart, God, to go and simplify what you have already exemplified to us. Let them go and love up on somebody. Oh, Father, let us forget about the hurt and things that was damaging to our character, mm -hmm. to our relationship, to our yeah. feelings, God, yeah. to our heart. Yeah. Father, we ask in you that you would mend every broken heart. Mm -hmm. Let us stop looking at the things of the past and start dwelling on our future. Mm -hmm. God, we give you glory. Yes. We magnify your name. Yes. And we thank you, oh God, for waking us up on this day. Yes. God, we thank you for we, those of us, God, who are alive and well, Father, are just alive maybe going through stuff in our body we thank you for allowing us to be on the wake up list on this morning yes. and father we ask and as we you would just bless each and every last one of us and father we pray for those yes, guys father. who can't even pray for themselves yes, yes, who's been wondering how they're gonna make it mm. we give you glory for them have your way lord yes, in the name, in of, name jesus. of jesus amen. amen listen we want you to go out and love up on somebody today Take this day as balanced out there. Go love up on somebody mm. in the name of Jesus. Mm. Go ask you have yes. something. Mm. The only thing I want to say is thank you, Bishop. You don't want to give out kisses to them? I will. Thank you, Bishop, for exemplifying and happy Valentine's Day on this morning. My God. Uh, and to you guys, remember that God loves you best. Oh, my God. And we love you from Genesis to Revelations. Mm -hmm. Happy Valentine's Day, and we love you guys. Hug up on somebody, call them, text them, just let them know that they are loved, that Jesus loved them, and we do too. Have an awesome My Valentine's God. Day. If nothing else, love up on yourself and love up on somebody else in Jesus' name. Love you. Mm -hmm.